Hey, thank you for coming by, Tori Magoo44. Today is the 16th of May, 2015, and uh, some really cool stuff is happening. Tomorrow, Tony Ortega and Paulette Cooper will be here in Los Angeles at the Center for Inquiry, which is on Hollywood Boulevard. And I hope you're coming. If you're in Los Angeles, do not miss this. It's a, a story that's amazing. Um, Honestly, I got in Scientology in 1969, and I think one of the biggest crimes that Scientology has committed is what they did to Paulette Cooper. And how they justify it is a whole nother thing that doesn't matter. You know, they, they always make everything that they do is right, and it's important, and it's saving mankind, and all this other crap. But the truth is, um, when they had the what happened was they basically broke into her apartment and stole some paper with her fingerprints on it, wrote a bomb threat to the United States government, and threatened to blow it up. And so they, then of course, it was the United States government against Paulette Cooper suing her. And I mean, it was it's amazing to read this book. You've got to get it. It's called The Unbreakable Miss Lovely, Tony Ortega, the two of them. It's really great. I mean, this, what I just told you is the thumbnail sketch of Paulette Cooper, right? They broke in. And then when the, when the government broke into what is now Celebrity Center, it used to be the Manor Hotel and the Guardian's office was operating out of it, which 11 people went to prison, including Mary Sue Hubbard, which LRH basically said, I had nothing to do with that. It's all Mary Sue Hubbard and just threw her under the bus when he was the one who wrote the programs. That, But one of the programs was called Operation Freakout and it was a step-by-step -step program to get Paulette put in prison. And she was really, really close. I talked to her once before and met her and it was just amazing to hear just the the thumbnail sketch of it. And this is detailed. I mean, it's, oh my God, her life in itself is just, even before Scientology is amazing. And I, it's one of those books that you don't want to put down. So I hope you all get it. You can either come here to Center for Improvement or Center for Inquiry on tomorrow. It's starting at uh, 10 15. They're going to be selling the tickets in the morning. Then they're going to Orange County in the afternoon. Um, you can go to the Underground Bunker, Tony Ortega, and it has the whole schedule. But I believe they're then going up to San Francisco next weekend. I know they'll be up there. And they're also going to Santa Barbara and San Diego. Those are the, one, the, the places that I know. But anyway, Tony's got it listed out on his site <clears throat> and where they're going to be and things like that so you can go. But don't miss it. This is an amazing, amazing person who has fought, you know, this church way before any of us did, you know, way in the early on. I mean, it's, it's just incredible. She, she was so sweet. She picked a bunch of us and gave us a certificate of courage, right? And for speaking out and gave us a copy of her book, which is a little paperback book, but it, I, I cherish it. I mean, it just means so much to me that she would give me that. It was just so incredible. And thank you, Paulette. So I hope you have a wonderful book tour for both you and Tony. I hope you sell tons of books. I hope a lot of people come to hear your story because it is an amazing story. And I'm just reading it now and just, I can barely put it down. And I, lo I love books, but I love these kind of books where it's a true story. And it's detailed and step by step. And oh, I mean, her parents were in Germany during the Nazi situation. And I'm not even going to tell you anymore, but you got to find out. But oh, oh, yeah, yeah. What a life this woman has lived. So thank you to Paulette. Thank you to Tony. And thank you to every single person who comes to my YouTube site. Please pass the link on because you never know. Everyone says it'll never happen to me, but you never know. They do sucker people in. But they don't if they're educated at all. I mean, somebody just wrote me today and thanked me and said it, it helped get their parents out. You know, so you never know. You never know when someone's going to start listening and looking and waking up. So thank you to all of you who do pass on these links and help expose the abuses of the, the phony church, really a business, 
and not even a good business, a very fraudulent business, the Church of Scientology. All right, so there you go. <clears throat> Either way, have a wonderful weekend. I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.